so let's see how we can use uh, the version control system which is called git so git was developed by linus Torvalds. so here i'm having my code editor that is code oss which is open source version of vs code opened up over here so i'm going to install git to this system and i will show you how you can configure git and set up version control for your project or even for your basic things like if you are someone who keeps notes you can even control the version of those notes also so sudo i'm using void linux right now you can use like uh, you can install git pretty much on any distribution all you have to do is sudo and your package manager that is apt git or uh, pacman dashes zipper something like that you just use that and install git so it's going to ask me for the passphrase if i enter the passphrase properly it's going to install git so for this system i already have git installed but i'm just doing this for the demonstration purpose so after installing git the first thing you have to do is you have to configure your git in a way that while you perform some commits it should be able to identify who did the commits or uh, on your contact email address or something so the way you do that is by using git and you can specify config and you have to specify it's global or local so i'm just going to define this globally for this system and user dot and you can specify name and inside this quotes you can specify your, your git username so let's use something like this so you need to specify your own username over there not what i'm showing you in this example and hit enter so this will not give you any output but if you don't get any output pretty much with git commands it's like successful something like that the next one you can do is you can configure uh, global user dot email and you can specify the user email so something like this and you can hit enter so you have specified your username and email address for your git then the next thing you can do is like currently i have this uh, project called c opened i have two files inside so if i need to get like if i do an ls dash al uh, i need to cd into c first and if i do an ls dash al you can see like i have these two files but nothing else so we need to initialize a git repository if you want to do version control so the git repository is the place where your git tracks all the changes of your files so for that you can do git init so if you do that it will initialize a github repository so you can see we got some output and if i do like ls dash al again you can see how this new directory which is hidden with dot git so that's our content like that holds the content of our repository for this project so you can check the status like let me go to full screen terminal so if i do like git status you can see currently we have like uh, two uh, two on track files so no commits to the branch yet so we haven't done anything and it's giving us an example like we can add this by using git add and file name so if we, we if we use git add and followed by the file name we are going to add this file to the staging area of the git repository so 
git add git space add and if i type the file name 1.c and hit enter it's going to be added to the staging area so if i check like uh, git status again you can see we are on master branch but we have this new line like changes to be committed and it's giving you options to remove like if you don't want to make this commit you can remove it from stage state you can by do that by using git rm dash dash shash and you can specify the file name but we are going to add this to our commit so we can add this file to commit by using git commit and dash m is for specifying the messages so here inside quotes we are going to specify uh, adding first file or something so you can give this this will be like a friendly message for whoever is reading the commits so if you are planning to look at this project on a later time or if you are working with some group or something for them it will be helpful to read this message to understand what your commit does so if you enter it's going to write the commit so if i check like git status again you can see like uh, track files this one and that's all the race and we can do like git log so if i do a git log you can see the log so here you have the author you have the author's username author's id and you have the first commit that is adding first file now if i do a git status again you can see like we have this file which is not being committed so if i want to add that i can follow same process like uh, git add and q.c and can also perform like uh, git commit so i can give a message like adding second file oh so currently we have like two track files so if i do a git status nothing to commit everything is clean so i can check like the log to see the list of commits so here you have like uh, two commits this is the initial one and this is the like this is the second one and this is the first one so you can see the log like that so imagine like i have accidentally deleted this uh, file called 2.c so i've moved it to trash so i only have one file over here so if i do a git status you can see like we have accidentally like for this demonstration i purposefully deleted but you can see the change like uh, deleted this file so if you want to grab the file like discard changes you can do a git restore so git restore and uh, 2.c so if i do that it's going to restore the deleted file over here so it's having the contents which was previously there for that file and don't worry about the contents of this file this is like just two basic c programs it's nothing useful and so similarly like this you can like uh, if you accidentally delete some files on a working project you can get them back using git then if i check git status again it will tell you like uh, we don't have any commits it's because we have restored our git to previous commit status which we have saved then there are things like branching for git so if you don't want to work like you can see the branch is master over here so if you don't want to work on that like if it works and you're not sure whether you're going to put something again but you still want to work on that you create a branch so you can create a branch by using git branch and you can specify 
the branch name and you can add the files like uh, uh, for example git branch feature so if i type just git branch currently we have this two branches git feature and git like a feature branch and master branch so currently we are on master branch we can switch to feature branch by using git checkout and we can use the feature branch so it will switch to branch feature branch so if we do like git status again over here you can see like this and if you want to perform some modifications you can do that that's really up to you after that you can like git merge to go like to merge this branch to your master branch and if you want to push this to a remote repository you can do a git push and you can specify the repository something like that so that's how you use git for version control i hope uh, this one was helpful uh, but there are like more features to git if you want to explore so that's really up to you i will leave some links in the description which will help you out so i hope this one was helpful i hope you all have a wonderful day